What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another Hawes Capital video. Uh, tonight, what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys about Matic Polygon. Um, it's a layer two that is on top of the Ethereum network. Uh, it just allows for faster transactions. Um, uh, many projects that we have been uh, using and showing you in the room how to use are starting to branch out, build on top of Matic. Uh, we're showing you how you know these blockchain projects are leaving the Ethereum network. Well, not really leaving it, but what they're doing is they're looking and scaling and building on top of these other chains, Matic, Phantom, Avalanche, uh, Cosmos. You're seeing a lot more growth start to happen uh, and primarily due to Ethereum gas fees, all right? Uh, many people like to do DeFi. When you're doing DeFi, pooling, purchasing NFTs, uh, all types of different transactions, it makes it really, really efficient, inefficient when you're doing them on the uh, Ethereum blockchain. So in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you and show with you guys how to go ahead and move your coins uh, from the Ethereum blockchain to the Matic blockchain. And again, there are simple videos that exist. We already know you can use a bridge. However, using the bridges is not necessarily always the most efficient, at least not the most cost efficient way to do it. So I'm going to show you a couple of tricks and a couple of extra steps that I take. Uh, when I'm moving my tokens around and I'm sending tokens from the ledger uh, out from the Ethereum network to move to the Matic so I can go do DeFi and different things, uh, I'm going to show you a couple of tricks on how you can use uh, to leverage and save on Ethereum gas fees, all right? Uh, so to do it, uh, what I've done is I've already moved um, some of my Ether, which was on the Ethereum network. And again, I know when many of you guys uh, purchase uh, Matic, uh, you're buying it from, you know, the startup points, which is usually like uh, Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, uh, places like that. And nine times out of 10, they more than likely are only giving you the opportunity to send and receive on the Ethereum blockchain. They're not giving you options to send on the Binance chain, uh, Matic chain, Phantom chain, uh, op none of these different chains. All right. Uh, and if that's the case, uh, you're probably going to be spending a lot every time you want to move that Matic. So I'm just going to show you, as I said, an efficient way to do it. Let us jump right into this. All right, here we go. Where is it? All right, boom. All right, so always go to the company website. Check out the project website that has everything you need. So all we're going to do is we're going to go to use Polygon. It's got the wallet. We need a wallet. More than likely, you need a wallet. It's got the bridge. That's what we need to do. We need to bridge tokens from Ethereum to Matic. You can stake Matic. However, you can only currently at the moment stake Matic on the Ethereum blockchain. So again, depending on how much Matic you have, uh, it may make sense to go ahead and pay a $50 fee or $70 fee for Ethereum gas. But if you're someone just starting off and maybe you only have 200 Matic or you only have $200 in Matic, you cannot be spending $60, $70 on gas transactions. That makes no sense. Please do not do that. You're not going to make that much in the DeFi uh, with small balances to make up for what you spent in gas. So it's a losing transaction. So, uh, and of course, you've got the dApps on Polygon, but that's a whole separate video in which we'll go to. For right now, we just need to move from Ethereum to Matic. So let's go to the bridge. Once you go to the bridge, it would basically be inside the wallet looking like this. Um, I already have a little bit of Matic that has been moved over here. We'll move a little bit more just so you can see. Um, and again, we sent from the ledgers. So we go to bridge. And what we want to do is I'm going to bridge the little bit of Matic because again, for the purpose of this video for you guys, I have some Matic sitting uh, in a wallet that I have not moved because it's just not efficient to move it um, at the price. Um, and we want to go ahead and see what it would take to move that Matic uh, over to the Matic network. So we're here. This is the bridge. We're going to bridge as much as we possibly can over to the Matic network. Now, remember, guys, when you're doing transactions, you usually have two transactions you have to sign and both times they more than likely will have to take gas from your wallet. So again, pay attention to the, both transactions and how much you're spending total on both. You don't want to end up spending more than you're actually trying to move. All right, guys. So please, please, please pay attention to the fees. Don't just click next, next, next. All right. So let's start the transfer on the Matic bridge. And this is the usually the most recommended way uh, that people like to go ahead and do the transfers. Um, and it will let you know right here. Again, you cannot do the staking. Delegating is supposed to be on the Ethereum network. I just told you that. So, you know, as another reminder. We hit continue and it lets us know there are two fees. So I'm trying to transfer five Matic, which would be about $10 worth of Matic. And it's going to cost me almost 
90, what's 80, 80 something bucks and $85 and change to move $10. Makes no sense whatsoever. Even if I was moving $200, I would not spend this transaction, okay? This makes no sense whatsoever. Please do not go through with this transaction if you're trying to move your Matic over. Now, I'm going to show you a different way. So, going through the Matic wallet and the Matic bridge, which is what they most likely recommend to us to go ahead and move Matic, this is one way you can do it. I'm going to show you another way. Now, I always tell you guys, check your exchanges to see what networks they allow you to transact on. As I said, when you're using Coinbase, Gemini, Kraken, usually they're always on Ethereum network. You can always find out when you go to deposit or you go to withdraw in your exchange wallet, it will usually have a list of the networks that are available. So I know that if my Matic is on Binance, I can send Matic out on the Binance network. It'll cost me less than a dollar. If I do it on the Ethereum network, it will cost me $18. That, all right. And then if I do it on Matic network, it's suspended. Funny thing about Binance, I noticed they've been doing this a lot. And I don't know if it's just because they're trying to keep the tokens on the exchange because we show you the on-chain data all the time. Tokens are leaving the exchange at amazing rates, all right? Crazy fast rates, how fast the tokens are coming off these exchanges. So uh, they're suspending all the wallets, but the wallets aren't suspended on any other exchanges. So kind of funny to me. Anyways, so I would not, if my ledger, okay, all my Matic is in the ledger, I know I cannot send it to Binance because I want to get it to the end target, which is the Matic network, but the Matic network is suspended. So I cannot withdraw my funds. I can send from Ethereum on the ledger to here and receive, but then I'm only able to withdraw from the Binance network and the Ethereum network. That's not the end target. So let's go to another exchange that we use all the time. And that's KuCoin guys. KuCoin has the opportunity when we go for the networks, it's giving me ERC, which is Ethereum. It's giving me Matic and it's giving me the KuCoin one. All right. So that looks kind of like what I want to do. So all I need to do is confirm that I can withdraw now on the same. I know I can send for my ledger on the Ethereum network to here. So let's see if I can withdraw now on the same. So we'll come here, we'll go to Matic, we type Matic. Uh, yes, I have read and I understand the risks involved. And when I select the network, what do you know? The Matic network isn't suspended. So that means I can go ahead, send my Matic, which is on Ethereum currently, sitting in the ledger right here i can send that to kucoin all right and i'm gonna pay the fee i already did it as you guys can see i paid a 37 dollar fee to send about four grand worth of matic uh from my ledger to kucoin all right so that was just one fee that's the only time i'm gonna pay ethereum gas fee to do this transaction now if i sent it from my ledger and i paid this 37 dollars and I sent it to this Ethereum bridge and I wanted to go ahead and do this transfer, we know I would have paid $37 plus I would have paid, the fee just went up close to 90 something bucks. So it would have cost me all in all, almost a hundred and some change to do the transaction going the conventional way of the Matic bridge and all that other stuff. However, if I just take an extra step and I send maybe from exchange to an exchange, cause you can send from Coinbase and you can send it to KuCoin. And then now that it's on KuCoin, which is what I have done, as you can see, I've sent my Matic from, uh, it's on Ethereum. Uh, now that it's here, I wanna withdraw it and I want to go ahead and I wanna send that to the Matic network now. So all I would simply do, paste in the address, I would select the network I want it to go on, I would select how much I wanna go ahead and send. We'll just go ahead and send 100 for this one. We'll do confirm. It should come up with all the, the other blah, blah, blah. Here we go. What was my thing for this one again? Um, damn, I always forget the passwords. Oh, see? There we go. All right, perfect, got it. So just like that, guys, we've reached our end target. And then once you're done, your Matic will show up in the wallet. See, there goes my Matic showed up in the wallet. I did the withdrawal, all the transactions. There goes the $500 withdrawal I did. There goes the $100 one pending. And look what it cost me, one Matic. So about $2.80 and some change right now to go ahead and send that. I did two transactions, so I have maybe $3 to send that. $37 all in all for this Matic transaction to leave from my ledger. 
uh, it was 37 plus the two dollars in transactions call it maybe 40 bucks um to do all that transacting for four thousand dollars whereas it would have been almost about a hundred dollars and again uh not a lot if you're sending four thousand dollars but i know many of you in the room may not have four thousand dollars worth of matic yet uh your balances will get there i know they will but for now if you're starting off you may not have that so you cannot be spending um these type of fees to transact and do that uh, so all i really wanted to do and the real purpose of this video was just to show you another way uh if your end goal is just to move matic from the ethereum network which more than likely if you're buying it from those main exchanges uh it's starting on the ethereum network how to move from ethereum to the matic network and pay as little bit of fees as possible all right uh there are many different bridges out there trust me i've got all the bridges saved i got a whole folder and the bookmark saved for bridges uh and i've checked all the fees guys and the fees are pretty ridiculous to move from ethereum to matic on all the different bridges so uh to me i was like you know what i'll take the extra steps i'll send it back to the exchange uh on the exchange on kucoin i can go ahead and send it off uh, and you can do that with a lot of the coins. But remember, always check first the deposit and the withdrawal addresses to make sure they're on the compatible networks you need. So that way you don't even get caught sending your, your coins to an exchange and, and they don't have the network you need. All right, guys. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Hopefully you all can save on some Ether gas fees now when you're transferring your, uh, your Matic around to go ahead and to enter into DeFi and all the other different opportunities that are out there. Catch you guys on the next video.